The turkeys have not been quiet. Anything but. As soon as the sun comes up, they start clucking, and then it just gets louder and louder and louder. So there's nothing quiet about it in the morning. <laughs> I started out with the farm 25 years ago. I bought it as a horse farm, and this year the farm needed to pay for itself. So I decided that turkeys, heritage turkeys, would be a good way to earn some quick cash, if you will. The biggest thing about heritage breeds is they're able to reproduce without human intervention. The big turkeys that you get from the grocery store, they are all artificially inseminated, and they're slower to mature maybe 16 to 18 weeks for a white bird, and these are 24 to 26 or 28 weeks to maturity. The price is kind of steep, so some people at Sticker Shock, you know, they're $9 a pound, and people are used to getting their $2.50 or $3 a pound turkeys. If I were going to the grocery store and I had to put $180 down for a bird, I would think twice, but a lot of people, it's very important to know what their food source is and to trust that food source and know that it's high quality and people will pay high quality. Come on guys. I have uh, contracted with a butcher in Ricerstown and he is going to take my birds on the 20th of this month. So that's just a couple days away. The 21st, he has Mennonite come in and help him to do the butchering because there's such a large quantity. I know it's gonna be hard because I've had them since they were two days old and seen them grow. Um, but I understand from the beginning that this is what would happen, so I've kind of prepared myself. I've never raised birds en masse, and, you know, I've always had parakeets or something. I wish I had done it sooner. So, of course, I might not be saying that after the 21st. So. <laughs> we'll see how I feel then.